thought, um, I had said this before, but Larry Hunter's a, a really good coach and does a good job of preparing his team. Um, I thought they did some really good things in their sets, and we weren't prepared for some of those. Part of that is scouting. You didn't have any tape on them from this year, um, but I thought they really executed. I think some people hear the name Western Carolina and they think it's automatic, you know, 20 point or 40 point win. Um, I, I think we came out a little, little tight in the first half and didn't rely on our defense to get us, get us through that tightness. We turned the ball over way too much in the first half, but we really reduced our turnovers in the second half. Um, but the biggest thing is I thought that we really did a good job of getting to the free throw line and making our free throws. It's a huge disparity there, and that's what you want. You always want to end up making more free throws than the other team even attempted. Uh, I thought that was a key for us. And then I thought our freshmen came in, especially Maurice Dunlap, and made some big threes, but more importantly, didn't turn the ball over. And Demetrius Houston ended up with seven rebounds and really did a good job on the defensive end. Um, but uh, that's, a, that's a good win for us. Um, I think Gavin was a force down there and doing some good things there. We didn't have enough urgency in the first half. Like We was like kind of lackadaisical in the first half, and that kind of led on to them executing on offense and like once we got it together we made a comeback and we came out uh, second half with a sense of urgency and got, a, uh, got the lead a good bit. I think we stopped them in conversion first and foremost. I, I thought we had some situations there in the, in the first half where we didn't stop them in transition. I thought we made some defensive errors that were really correctable errors. I'm um, in the first half and went to the second half. And you're always concerned about the second half because they're not right there in front of you. Um, the coaches are talking, the bench is talking to them, so it's a lot better. And really in the second half, they're on their own communication-wise. And I thought they did a really good job of communicating. We always talk about ELO, which is early, loud, and often. And so when you're in that second half, you got to have that.